for DDG show up this morning and it's really muddy here where we have to unload them but we had to get it up into that bin so we've been pulling the truck back and forth a little bit I'm gonna go take the loader to in front of him there so we can pull him forward once he empties that back hopper of his B train there and then we're gonna have to probably pull him forwards and backwards and get that hopper of the auger underneath him until we get that truck emptied into that bin to hop on the road here it's probably gonna make it a bit muddy but oh well not too bad So he's got the back two hoppers unloaded there. Now we're working on the front two. And most likely we're gonna have to pull him ahead a bit with the loader for him to line up that second hopper, unload it, and then we'll have to pull him out of here. So this is a load of dried distiller's grain. We feed it to the cows. And um, this is when the plant had this. It's a byproduct, so they have it and they gotta send it out right away. So this is when it was coming. We couldn't really do much about that at all. So we kinda just had to deal with this muddy mess out here. So we just pulled him ahead a bit there just so we can line up that second hopper. We're just gonna leave him hooked up because there's no way this guy's getting out without a little bit of help here. And then we'll pull him up onto the harder, more solid ground over there and he'll be able to drive out of here on his own. She's still good. Got it onto the road there. This warm weather sure is not good for keeping equipment clean, holy.
back of our freestyle barn here. And I want to take out the insulation baths out of the exhaust fans. There's a ton of big panels at the front of this barn that'll slide down, open up, and they'll let a ton of air in here. And these exhaust fans will pull the air through the barn. And this is what we call tunnel ventilation. Keeps the barn nice and cool during the summertime when it's nice and warm. It's not necessary to turn it on yet, but I just want to get these panels out right now because we've got time. And then we won't have to mess around with it when we're doing field work. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah? All right, let's get to work. So all we got to do to take one of these off, there's a bunch of these clips. They're just going to slide off. And then this whole panel of louvers here pops right out. ended up opening the door of the barn here. You guys probably saw me struggle with the first one there a bit. There's exhaust chimneys along the entire barn there and they put this barn at negative pressure. So when I pulled the first louvers off there, the wind starts to get sucked in and pushed it back on me. It made it kind of harder. So I just opened that door. Work smarter, not harder. So there's two of these bats per fan. And this just keeps all the cold air outside when it's super cold out here in the winter time. So now we got those two out, we can put this thing back on and this fan's done. So there's 10 fans at the back of this barn, which means we're gonna have 20 of these bats and we're gonna store them all in the electrical room. So we'll just put them in that corner. There's nine right there, and then there's one more right here behind the manure pump. And then we'll be done with the ones in the main cow barn. Then there is six in the straw pack barn, but I'm gonna need a skid steer or back the truck up to them because they're pretty high and you can't do them just standing on the ground here. So now we got all the bats out in this barn. So we got another semi or a flatbed truck that just showed up. It's got eight pallets of feed. I think it's got six bulk bags of calf starter feed on it. And then two pallets of bags for the beef or for the steer cows that we got there. We're gonna grab the skid steer of the pallet forks again. Only problem is this one pin is broken. Um, this one will still move down, I'm pretty sure but this one is stuck open, so I won't be able to lock that side of the pallet forks down, but since it kind of scoops it and hooks it up and all the weight will just constantly be downward, it shouldn't matter too much, hopefully.
just had to get some stuff cleared out of the way here but now i'm gonna set them all right along in here and then we can move them around here where we want them with that pallet jack So the six bulk bags we just dumped right away in the calf bar in there and then we have two pallets of beef feed. I took them off and just set them down here so we could get that guy out of there a bit quicker because I got to put them in the shop over there. So I think I want to get that halfway used pallet stacked on top of here and then get them moved into the corner there. We're going to have to clean this mess up. nicely set there so now we're done with this thing i'm just gonna park it by the shop there so that our mechanic brent can have a look at that pin so that's gonna be it for today thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below check out my instagram at sask dutch kid and i hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching